my greetings to everyone. So our topic for today is about purchasing processes. So at first, I'm going to define what is meant by purchasing process. Well, the answer to this is that it's the formal process of buying goods and services. So the purchasing process can vary from one organization to another. So it's pretty much in the same way as the consumer would research and then purchase the best appliance for their home. But keeping out this, of course, with the help of procurement team, they would use the purchasing process to requisition goods and services through the supply chain. However, the purchasing process can vary from one organization to another, but there are some common key elements. So starting with the first one, what is the requesting needed items? So at this stage, the company recognizes and documents a need for goods or services to solve a particular problem. The purchasing portion of the purchasing process kicks off with the purchase requisition, which is submitted to the purchasing department or purchasing manager. And that is by the individual or the department which has requested the goods or services. So overall, the purchase requisition contains full details on the items or services to be obtained. Now, the second is verifying items received. So basically, purchase requests are automatically updated to purchase orders. And also, it's submitted to the preferred supplier for that item or service. So that means more expensive purchases or unexpected purchases not in the budget will be forwarded to the appropriate individuals for review and approval before they can be transferred to purchase orders. So after this, the rejected purchase requisitions, they are returned to the issuing party for review and correction or clarification as needed. And then the approved purchase orders are sent to accounting to verify the funds exist in the appropriate budget to cover the requested goods and services. The third stage is the processing of the supplier's invoice. So what happens in here is that the purchase orders that receive budget approval are returned to the procurement department and as required, used to create requests for quotations. These are dispatched to vendors to solicit bids to fulfill the order for goods or services. Potential suppliers submit their bids and are carefully reviewed based on their performance and history compliance records, such as average lead times, reputation, and also price. That after this, there's also the three-way matching that is used to compare shipping documents or packing slips with the original purchase order and the invoice issued by the supplier. This comparison is used to ensure all the information related to the transaction, which is accurate. So moving to the fourth stage, which is the contract negotiation and approval, and also shipping and receiving. So once the contract is signed, the purchase order is a legally binding agreement between the buyer and also the seller. So the supplier delivers the goods or services within the agreed upon time frame. And once they have been received, and that is in the case of goods, or performed in the case of services, the purchaser carefully reviews the goods and services to ensure they have received what was promised and also notifies the vendor of any issues. And now reaching to the final stage, which is to invoice approval and payment. Successfully uh, match orders, they are approved for payments. So any modification or additional charges that may require another layer of approvals before payment can be issued. So once approved, payment is issued by the vendor. Ideally, such payments are made with the goal of capturing early payment discounts and other incentives while avoiding late payment fees. And at the end, the completed orders are recorded in the company's books and all documents related to the transaction, which are securely stored in a centralized location. But yet, 
Not only that, but there's also some primary benefits of a formal process for purchasing that helps to avoid waste due to fraud, rock spend, theft, and other financial pitfalls that accompany undocumented, non-optimized buying habits. Thank you.